everybody. My name is Leilani Lopez and I'm the author of the upcoming young adult paranormal romance, Devil's Air. And so today I wanted to talk about five quick little things that I learned once I received my first ever round of beta feedback. So today is Monday, February 11th, which means my beta feedback was due yesterday and they had about three weeks to read and respond to the questions I provided for them. So as I said, this was my first ever round or attempt to do a professional beta reading. Um, so I watched the videos, I understood what it meant. It wasn't well, beta reading isn't supposed to be just, hey, can you read this and let me know what you think. Um, obviously, you tailor it to you as an author, but you're able to or should provide some questions throughout the book. Um, so you can do pacing, plot, you know, relationship development, that sort of thing. Um, and since I'm <laughs> an impatient person and I didn't really know what I was doing I guess. I didn't provide a question for every single chapter which I probably should have but I was so tired of looking at my own novel at that point I didn't even want to read over the chapters to even think about a potential question. So I asked a couple questions throughout the book depending on certain chapters and stuff and then at the very end of it I did a bunch of questions like overall what was good what was bad what can be improved what can be deleted overall feedback that type of thing um and so being as this is the first time I've ever even shared my own work with other people other than like my mom and my sister who got um these hard these physical not hardbacks these physical copies of the first draft of Devil's Air this is the first time I've actually ever shared it with other people besides you know my immediate family um so a quick little suggestion, I guess, what I did was I skipped to the very last page, which was the overall questions that I asked. Um, and so that's when I discovered the first thing about beta reading is that apparently I'm not as of a shitty writer as I thought. Boom, right? Who would have ever thought that? Certainly not me. Um, so basically, you know, Everyone who responded said that they really enjoyed the book and at some point they even forgot that it was my own words. Like to, to them it wasn't Leilani's book, it was just a good book that they had the chance to read. So that meant a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> definitely gave me the confident boost to be able to go through the whole manuscript to truly see what else they put, you know, individually throughout the book rather than their general feedback or opinion <clears throat> and so the second thing that I learned is when they say like you need and they I just mean you know everyone who talks about this all of us author tubers stuff like that um when they say that you truly need fresh eyes you truly need fresh eyes whether it's the you know two to six week long break that you give yourself after your first draft before you decide to do your personal round of edits or whether it's beta reading you really need fresh eyes to be able to think about like even even the small things so i have a specific example in mind but obviously i'm not going to talk about it because i don't want to give everything away but um something that i had briefly mentioned i guess um and even at the time, like, I knew that there should be more to it than just what I was saying. Um, but I kind of fast drafted this book as much as I could. So even even I didn't have or still don't even have all of the exact answers. Um, that came up a couple times in the things to improve on or, like, questions they had was they wanted to hear more about that. So I was like, okay, perfect. That's something that I need to pinpoint and something I need to work on. Um, <clears throat> and the third tip I have or not even tip, just the third thing that I realized, um, which kind of ties back to what I said about the first tip, is it's okay to be afraid of feedback. So it's already such a big thing that you shared your work, but 
to hear like what people think of it is super scary because like you know the m most of these people are, are probably going to be like your close friends and family until you're able to build that author platform to where people aka your fans are going to want to hear it um or you know read it so <clears throat> it's scary to like share that part of yourself to people that you know in person like i'm freaking writing about demons and stuff like what if people thought that i was crazy which you know, just a little bit but like i said it's truly okay to be afraid so you know even if you have to read it with like one eye open just to kind of like get you know the big pieces of like uh oh, crappy or oh great like do do what you gotta do in order to take in your feedback it's okay no one's expecting you to just take it as it is. Take time to truly absorb everything that they're giving you. You don't have to immediately jump into um, revisions. Take time to appropriately come up with like a game plan to answer those questions because me I, I, I'm a pantser right so I see this feedback and I'm like okay boom I'm gonna work on it like whatever but even I have to remind myself okay sit back like this is something that you overlooked in my own two to three times that I looked at it so clearly let's figure out exactly what you want to say before you work it into your feedback or into your revisions if that makes sense <clears throat> and sorry I'm looking at my notes oh um, so the fourth the fourth thing I'm gonna say is find out what type of critique that you want um, so like I said as the author you can kind of write in the questions how you want it to be so if you want to say like okay you read the whole thing write me you know three paragraphs about what a piece of scat it is and then write me three more paragraphs about how great it is or if you want to do like a compliment sandwich like start out good you know give me the bad in the middle but then let's close on a happy note find out what's gonna be best for you so you're not gonna feel so broken <laughs> about it um and then try to incorporate that into how you write out your questions or even just tell your betas you know after you give it to them like hey at the end I really want you to you know write me a page about your overall thoughts if you can do me a compliment sandwich that would be great and then the fifth thing is probably really obvious but you want to find people who support you obviously but um I think it's really important to differentiate between like your mom who if your mom's anything like my mom, she's not going to say anything bad to, you know, not even a close friend, but maybe just like a college or old high school buddy who obviously supports you enough to where they want to take time out of their lives to do this beta reading for you, but will still give you useful feedback. So just find the people who support you in the way that you need. Like, don't find 20 people who are going to be like your mom, who are not going to tell you anything good. But also don't go to, like, the high school mean girl who's only going to talk shit about your piece just because she fucking hates you. You know? So just you know, find your happy medium in the people who you ask to be your beta readers. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of all I have right now. The biggest thing that I want to... The biggest takeaway, I guess, for myself and for all you viewers out there, if you are a newbie writer like I am and have no idea what you're doing, welcome to the club, first of all. But just know that there's hope, and even if you think your writing is a piece of scat, which if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've said multiple times how much of a piece of scat I thought my book is apparently there it's not and there's hope and so that's all that really matters so um yeah like I said that's all I have for you head over to my Instagram which is Leilani Lopez just my name to find out a pretty cool little sneak peek um that I provided to all of my followers over there of course it happened has to do with devil's ear perhaps it's about 
the expected release time not date so I call it time the general part of the year when it's I'm expecting it to get out so go over there check that out be excited please comment because I love to talk to people about this um whether you're my friend or just a follower so that's it for today bye guys